Okay, in this video we're gonna continue working on the trees and then we're gonna be scattering them uh, on the ground and we're gonna use uh, this time uh, mesh for creating the scattering. It's gonna work really well. So let's go to the effects menu and you can see here is there's a mesh uh, here the settings we're gonna be working on. So let's show up the model. Okay, so this is the model and then this is the scale. Let's maybe scale the trees a little bit more. You know, this is all like artistic uh, options about the scale, but uh, this feels like scaling them a little bit more would be a good idea. We can always adjust that later on. So now let's expand the group of the trees and then let's select all of them. And then let's go to mesh and then create mesh network. Let's click on the options and then let's reset the settings here and then click apply. Okay, so now we have uh, these two nodes created, the mesh one node and then the mesh reporter mesh uh, node. And this one basically have uh, all the trees and the information related to trees. But let's go to mesh and then let's click on this distribute because we want to make sure they kind of sp spread on the ground. And then the distribution type here and the number of points, these are really important ones we're going to be working with. So the first distribution type is linear and then let's change that to mesh. Okay, so the method will be scatter. And then everything else here we can uh, keep as it is except the input mesh. And you can see here when you hover over, over it, it tells you like it accepts mesh. So this mesh here, we're going to be plugging the terrain. So let's expand the group of the terrain. Let's middle mouse, drag until we connect the, the ground shape. So you can see the three... Uh, we have like a uh, scattered just a number here of points basically how many trees and it's just four trees so uh, we can keep everything here the same and then we can adjust this number let's raise it to 100 now it's going to be a little bit heavy because uh, the way we need to adjust uh, this uh, scattering in the mesh itself we're going to change it from the current type to instancing so if you go to if you go to utilities, let's go all the way to switch mesh geometry type. And you can see here we change it to instancer. So now mesh is basically becoming an instance uh, using these trees as uh, instance instances and that's going to be really uh, light for us to work with. So we can have like thousands of them scattered without any problem. Okay, so let's go to the uh, mesh one. And then we need, now as you can see, we have just one tree is scattered all over the place. And we want to make sure it's going to have all these trees that we modeled, they all scattered. So we want to add an ID here. Let's click on it and then click add ID node. So you can see like immediately we get the <laughs> randomized everything without doing anything to the node. It's immediately it's changed it to all the tree types now scattered so that's really good but now you can see the orientation of the trees uh, are a bit off we want to make sure they all like straight up so now before we finish up from the id let's check here the id type and there is these settings we can click on random and then you can change the random seed and then you can see here it changes and then we can have you can change the id if you don't want like all the trees you want to go like between just a few of them so you can do that so let's put the, ID, the seed back to one and uh, this is all good. Okay, so let's select the mesh again and then let's go to the distribute and then let's increase that to like 600. So you can see how fast it is now to scatter these trees without any problem. And then yeah, the last thing we want to change here is that we need to uncheck calculate rotations. So this way all the, st the trees becoming uh, straight. Okay, so that's good. So we have all the trees. Now let's start uh, playing with the um, with number of these trees because now it's really like low. And we want to make sure we get really high number of these trees. So let's, let's change it up to 1,600. You can see, okay, it's, it's pretty good. We start to get uh, more trees. Maybe let's increase it a little bit more, like another 200 trees. Okay, so that's cool. So you can see now, yeah, we have a nice number of trees to, to go uh, with. 
we can increase this uh, more if we want but for now this looks pretty good and then one thing we want to do before we continue working with this because now we are covering the whole terrain and then I just want to show you like this is not what we are gonna be animating for we're not gonna be animating the, 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 the camera going like this height we're gonna be animating it to be like covering a small distance so that will be for our advantage because this number of trees then is gonna be uh, much much more denser because now you can see it's dense but it's not that dense because now we're just doing it roughly and we just want to make sure uh, we do the animation first of the camera and we get the final like layout uh, and then the camera pass so this way will allow us to adjust the terrain to be exactly the one we need and we can remove any uh, extra terrain so that's what we're gonna be doing in the next video we're gonna be uh, start working on the camera animation and then adjusting the settings uh, on the terrain as well and cutting it to be able to just have the terrain the size exactly we need for our animation so we'll see you in the next video